So then guys, today I want to tell you that the brand new Mac Mini from Apple is arguably probably the best Mac out there right now. And if you're an Apple fan, you should get one because it is absolutely incredible for what it is. So that's right guys, about a week ago we had a load of announcements from Apple with new MacBook Pros and new iMac and we also got the introduction of the brand new Mac Mini with the M4 and the M4 Pro and boy is this a game changer of a device. The new Mac Mini is only 5 inches by 5 inches and only 2 inches thick. This means it's only a little bit longer and a little bit more depth than one of these. This here is an Apple TV, but the actual thickness is around about the same as one of these. And this is absolutely incredible that Apple have managed to put an M4 and the M4 Pro inside of this device and gives us so much power out of it. What we've got to remember is that around about five years ago, Apple brought out the Mac Pro, and this had Intel chips inside of it with the Intel Exeon W3000 series with like 24 and 28 cores as the highest specifications. And this Mac Pro would put you back thousands and thousands of US dollars. But yet today, the new Mac Mini with just the baseline M4 inside of it in just performance wise, completely trashes one of these devices. And like I said, this has only been in five years this has happened. The most powerful Mac Pro and the most expensive one five years ago is being beaten by a tiny device here in 2024. And you can see why I say straight away, this is a device to buy for any Apple fan out there, especially with the fact of the price tag it comes with. You can pick up the new Mac Mini for 599 US dollars. And this is the cheapest, most powerful M4 device that you can buy right now, just the standard M4. And it only costs 599 US dollars. And yet, like I keep saying, it's more powerful than the Mac Pro that came out like five years ago. This is insane to see, but it's not just the actual power behind it. The footprint is tiny too. Like I said, it being five by five inches, this device is gonna be pocket size. This means that if you're going away, for example, and you want to take a little mini PC with your documents and everything, this is gonna be great. You'll be able to just slip this into your bag. You know, overall in kind of mass size, this is smaller than even a MacBook Air. Granted, it doesn't come with a keyboard, a screen, a touchpad, you know, or anything like this, but it's such a powerful device in such a packet size. I think something else that goes crazy alongside of this is that the M2 Max Mac Studio, what exists right now, is essentially the bigger brother of the Mac Mini, and this starts out at 2,000 US dollars. Well, the standard M4, if you look at the benchmark scores here, is actually more powerful. Granted that the M2 Max has about two more CPU cores and about three times the amount of graphics cores, it's really, really still impressive to see what the M4 can actually do in CPU power compared to, say, the M2 Max, what's inside the Mac Studio. And if you're a person who's not going to be utilizing all those graphics kind of cores, because I will say this, that the M2 Max in graphics performance is still ahead of the M4, then I would still personally say, look into a Mac Mini. Like I keep saying, saying this is like the number one device I'm going to argue for Mac fans out there because of its size, because of its performance and because of its great price too. It does also come with 16 gigabytes of RAM, what is more than enough for I'd say for everyday tasks out there. Of course you can upgrade this to push this up to say even 24 gigabytes of RAM if you wanted to do that and you can even push up to have say the M4 Pro but what I'm trying to stick here is with the 599 sort of price point with the 16 gigabytes gigabytes of RAM and I know the storage amount is probably not the best at 256 gigabytes but that is where I would say where the Thunderbolt 4 ports come in at least for the M4 on the rear and also the front of this device. We have three of these ports on the rear of the Mac Mini and we have two of them on the front. And if you say had yourself a Bluetooth keyboard and also a Bluetooth mouthboard, it's very easy to get hold of these days. Then you wouldn't need to use any of these ports actually on the Mac Mini. Maybe you might have to borrow one to charge up your keyboard and your mouse every so often, but that is about it. 
But the other great thing is, is that you'd be able to just connect a monitor into the back of this Mac Mini and you'd still be able to use the other four ports. And talk about actual displays, well, you can actually push it up to three displays with it. There is still the HDMI port as well. You can also utilize and free up all of those USB-C ports, but you can also use two of those other ports on the rear and have a maximum of three displays all out of this tiny little device. What is absolutely incredible. I think again, you're gonna see why I'm gonna repeat myself. This device is incredible for what you are getting with it. But something else that is also really incredible is the giveaway we are doing on this channel for this. This here is an iPhone 16 Pro Max, and I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel just before Christmas time in December. So kind of, you know, like about, about the 24th of December or something like that. I haven't actually agreed on the date, but it's gonna be around about then. And you can enter into this giveaway right now. All you have to do at this stage is just put down into the comments below of what kind of technology gear you're planning to get in 2024 or even into 2025. This doesn't have to be Apple related, but it could be. So maybe you're going to get yourself the new Mac Mini. Maybe you're going to get yourself a new MacBook Pro or maybe the iMac or something else. Let me know in the comments below because like I said, I'm going to be giving this away near the end of December time. And the great news is, is that this here is the Desert Titanium model and 256 gigabytes of storage and like I say one lucky subscriber is going to get their hands on it. And the other thing what I just want to quickly say is that there will be a sort of video with a few more details about the giveaway near the point of end of December time. So you won't want to miss out on that because there will be a little form to fill in and things like this. So make sure if you haven't done so already to subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. And also you want to subscribe because like I said, I'm giving it away to a subscriber. The last thing I just want to quickly say is that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating to telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, or even say, direct message via Instagram. Please do ignore these people or better still, please do report them. So moving on, the last thing I want to mention about the new Mac Mini is obviously it's Mac OS and the Mac OS experience where we are right now. Now obviously you'll be able to run the latest and greatest apps out there. You'd be easily able to run, say, multiple Chrome tasks, Safari tasks, have Word open, have Outlook open, have maybe even Photoshop open, or maybe even, say, Final Cut Pro and editing videos, say, from your iPhone. And talking of that, you could even, you know, mirror onto your iPhone what we can now do. This is absolutely incredible of a device what we can use this for. And now also with Apple intelligence, with all the bits and pieces inside of that, and knowing that we've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, we know that Apple intelligence can sort of flex out its muscles on one of these devices. What is absolutely incredible, we can use those new writing tools, clean up stuff and things like this. This is an amazing device for this. So with this and in conclusion, I would say if you wanted a time to enter into the Apple ecosystem and you know, you've been on Windows and you want to try something out, well, I would say the Mac Mini M4 is definitely the device for you. If you buy it today, I can tell you now, you know, in about three or four or five years from now, it's still going to be as quick as it is today. A lot of these guys out there right now who've got the original, say, M1 Mac Mini are not complaining that it has slowed down in the last sort of five years or so or four years on how long it's been. It's still as quick as it was back then. And remember, that was with, say, eight gigabytes of RAM inside of it. We're talking 16 gigabytes of RAM and also that the performance of the M4 is like twice the amount of what the M1 is right now. So you can imagine what I'm saying, that in say four to five years from now, this device is still gonna be perfectly fine, and yet it only costs you 599 US dollars, and even if you try to sell it then, I reckon you're still gonna get yourself, say, at least two, three hundred dollars. So, you know, to say that you had three hundred dollars worth out of this device over, say, five years, that is absolutely incredible because I think this device, like I said, is one of the best that Apple have ever made. And like I say again, I think that every Apple fan should get one potentially. But those are my thoughts there. What are your thoughts on this great device from Apple? Are you gonna be getting yourself a new Mac Mini? Well, let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also, if you wanna hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons too, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care, bye-bye.